my awesome students. Guess what time it is? It is art time again, and we have a new project and a new artist. This week, we are looking at the artist Jeff Koons, and he makes some very cool artwork. He mostly does sculptures. Do you know what a sculpture is? Hmm. A sculpture is something that you can walk around. So paintings are on a wall. You cannot go into the wall and see the painting from behind, so it's not a sculpture. But if you have something that could sit on a table and you can walk all the way around it, that is a sculpture. So he makes these 3D objects that look like balloon animals. They look like balloon dogs. Here are some of his now. As you can see, it looks like it's made out of balloon. It's a huge, gigantic balloon, but really, they're made out of metal and sometimes other materials. Oh, it's quite fun. I love how his bright colors. This week, we are going to draw one of his balloon animals. I'm going to teach you how to draw a, the balloon dog, but you get to pick whatever color you would like it to be. Here is mine. And as you can see, it looks like it's super shiny like a balloon is because we have these white rectangles that are like the shiny spot of them. I'll walk you through step by step how to draw each one of these oval shapes to put it all together to make our dog. Let's get started. We have our paper, it is side to side, and we're going to start off with an oval in the middle. And if you need to, please pause it draw the shape and then go on to the next shape. So we have an oval in the middle of the paper. On top of that oval and a little bit to the side, we're going to do like the neck of the dog. So that's another shorter, smaller oval. And then the head. And make sure you see that they overlap. And then a little tiny where you tie off the balloon, that little um, extra bit, that's for like the nose. We have the ear on top and a second ear. So please pause this so then you could do each line. We need the legs. We have an oval for the leg, a second oval for the other leg. So now we have two legs, three legs, and four legs. And all we're missing is the tail, which is another oval. And on the little end of balloon animals, it has that extra balloon. So that's the little tip of the tail. So you're going to go in and erase a couple lines that we overlapped. You don't have to do this, but I do think it makes it look more realistic to our balloon dog. I'm going back in and rewriting those lines that I accidentally erased. So now that we're happy with our pencil drawing, it is time to outline it all. You could outline it in black crayon, black marker. I'm choosing black Sharpie. That is my favorite thing to outline with. So we're going over every pencil line. This is super fast, but please take your time. And once you are finished with your uh, outlining, it is time to erase our pencil line. And this is an extra tip that makes your piece look really professional like you did it all in black marker on the first try. So we're going to erase all the pencil lines that we see. Um, you could do this or you don't have to, it is optional. But after we have erased it, we are going to pick a color, any color you like, and we are going to use a crayon if you have it, if you don't use a marker. But we're gonna go all the way around on all of our black lines and we are going to do another outline. But this outline is a little bit bigger. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want the edges to be darker and the inside of our balloon shapes to be lighter. After you have outlined each of your ovals with a crayon, it is time to add our highlight. And I'm gonna do that by writing in those rectangles. You could do it with a black marker or a black crayon. But once I have those highlights, I can color the whole thing in. And when we have it all colored in, you could decide what you want to do with your background. I decided to paint the whole thing orange. You could color it in. You could put your uh, dog in a scene, put it in a place. It's up to you. Way to go on your balloon dog. I can't wait to see what color you chose to put it in. 
if you did a background or not and what that background is. Make sure you take a photo, your photo is straight, you have good light in your room, and you submit it on Seesaw or Google Classroom, depending on which one I want you to use. I hope you had fun with this project. Bye.